Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Pastor Jerry Jacobson message for you. The Here to See channel always focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Pastor Jerry says, Christ lives in me, and he can live in you too. So Pastor Jerry explains from Galatians chapter 2, verses 19 to 21, how Christ can live within us. So like and subscribe, you can see these and other videos, and listen and learn. Hi again, Jerry Jacobson. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about Christianity. Isn't that an interesting topic? I wonder why we talk about Christianity. I want to read three verses of Scripture. They're found in the second chapter of Galatians, the Apostle Paul. Do you recall the Apostle Paul as on the Damascus Road, he met Jesus face to face, and he, it blinded him. He, he was a Pharisee. The, probably the strongest believing Pharisee of all the Pharisees. I believe maybe Paul was the strongest believing one. And he believed the law. He believed it to the letter. But he knew he was, it wouldn't save him. He found out that the law, keeping the rules, couldn't save him. It couldn't do it. And this, I'm going to talk to you a few minutes here about with these three verses of Scripture. Listen to the Apostle Paul as he writes, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Galatians 2, 19 through 21. For Paul speaking, For I through the law died to the law, that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. Isn't that a marvelous portion of Scripture that he gives us? But Paul said, I have been crucified. He said, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I can say that. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I don't live it keeping the laws. I live it by the faith of the Son of God, who already kept the law. He fulfilled it, and then he died on the cross and shed his blood and washed me in his blood that all the law that he perfected might be perfected in me. In Christ, I'm a new creature. I've been born again. And I want to talk to you for a few minutes about this today. I had a hard time coming to this conclusion. First time that I've made one of these messages that I've had a hard time coming to conclusion what I was going to talk about. I must have been in a battle. But I want you to know that God loves you so much that even if you keep all the rules and obey all the commandments, you're still going to die. And you're going to go to hell without Jesus Christ and his blood because he, Jesus, went to the cross, and he hung on the cross, and he shed all of his blood. What was left, the Roman soldier stuck a spear in his belly, in his side, and all the rest, and the water that was in him flowed out on the ground. And Jesus shed his blood for you and for me. And that shed blood is what saves us because Jesus lived his whole life without one time sinning. He fulfilled the law. He fulfilled it. He's the only one that ever has or ever will. We do through his faith, but he fulfilled it that we might be born again. I am 
I have been crucified with Christ. <laughs> and I can say it, and it's a reality that's come to pass because Jesus left. You remember when, remember when Jesus was talking to Peter and, and in the 16th chapter of Matthew, and, Peter, and Jesus said, Peter, who do men say that I am? And Peter said, well, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he said, that's right. But flesh and blood hasn't revealed that unto you, but my Father in heaven. He confirmed to Peter that his salvation did not come through anything but Jesus Christ because God made it that way, that that's the way it was going to work. Jesus had to shed his blood for you and for me, and when we come to him in faith, we're crucified with him. Think about that. Sounds, sounds way out there somewhere, but it's true. It's the truth. The truth makes you free. You've got to believe it. You've got to believe that Jesus shed his blood. If you don't believe, I had a, I had, my wife and I had a friend come to our house a few days ago, and she's a, a, of another religion that doesn't believe in the blood of Jesus. And she came with her papers and was talking to my wife and me about her religion and wanted to convert us to her religion. I said, ma'am, if you die in your religion, you're going to die and go to hell. Why would I want to go to hell? And everybody thought I was mean for telling her. I loved her. That's the only thing that will save her. If somebody tells her she'll go to hell in that religion so that she can have the Holy Spirit can help her believe that Jesus died in her place. You see, he helped me believe that. I believe that I have been crucified with Christ. Sin no longer has any effect on me. I've been born again. I'm a brand new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. And God loves you the same amount as he loves me. And if you want to be saved, born again, if you want to have the experience in Jesus Christ of being crucified with Christ and be saved, today is your day. Will you give your heart to Jesus? Will you say, Jesus, if what this guy is saying is true, I want it. Please, I want it if what he's saying is true. Come to Jesus and be saved. That's the greatest desire in my life, that you be saved. That's the most desire in my life that people can get saved because my preaching the gospel. Because when God filled me with his Holy Spirit, Acts 1.8 said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. I'm a witness unto Jesus because God made it that way. I didn't do it. I didn't earn it. God just gave it to me by grace. I don't have anything to brag about. I can just rejoice <laughs> because God did it all. Are you hearing me? Just say it. If what this guy is saying is true, then Jesus, come into my life. I confess my sin. I love you. See you again.